Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, dear parishioners of St. Mary of the Angels, dear Prince, this is going to be an important message. It may be a bit long, but I ask you to do it in the spirit of a Lenten sacrifice and endure it with a smile. Smile. That's Lent. Masses will not resume this weekend. Remember, that lifting the suspension or keeping the suspension is not a demonstration of faith or lack of faith, but it's doing what faith requires, a demonstration of love. And this is what it's all about. We are demonstrating love and responsibility. Faith, hope, love, the greatest of this is love. Yes, I miss you. Yes, I long to celebrate the Eucharist with you. But we must love and be responsible. Isn't this the crux of the Eucharist? The par excellence of our worship? I feel at this moment I'm like St. Paul writing to you small churches gathered at home or individually. I thank you for how you have expressed your faithfulness, your attempts at remaining in spirit one body. May the peace and love of Christ unite us in our spiritual communion. Let us then share this communion and let us share this concern for one another and let's remember that this communion this concern for one another extends to our brothers and sisters in Italy in Korea in so many other parts of the world we will continue to stream the masses online so too the liturgy of the word for the week our devotions to St. Anthony, the Stations of the Cross. And so remember, it is an act of love and an act of faith that we are united in Christ physically or spiritually or in means like this, virtually. Love removes all fear. Let me share with you an insight I got about obligations. When I was in junior college, during one of those principal talks, you know, the ones in which we had no idea what he's going on about as an adolescent, I remember very clearly a term that this Irish LaSalle brother used. It was the concept of noblesse oblige. We are obliged to come to celebrate the dignity, the nobility bestowed on us. But we are also obliged by the same dignity bestowed on us to take the necessary actions and exercise responsibility in good conscience. The dignity, the nobility that has been bestowed on us was and is bestowed on us in our baptism when we are all made members of Christ's body. Therefore, Sunday obligations, oblige, noblesse oblige, must be seen in this spirit. Not that we are fulfilling a law or that we are trying not to commit sin, but that we are fulfilling our baptismal dignity our nobility. We are our anointed priest, prophet and king in our baptism. Now we express our nobility, our obligation of this nobility with Christian maturity in faith, hope and love by exercising a maturity of an informed conscience. 
if we don't come and if we feel that we cannot come, will we grow accustomed and therefore leave the church, leave the faith? This would be childish, wouldn't it? It would not be being childlike, as Jesus reminds us. You're not to be children shouting in the marketplace, but to be a child, trusting in our Father who cares for us. Who cares and tells us that every single hair on our head is counted. Nurturing this relationship spiritually or physically, if we do come, will want us to live our nobility, noblesse oblige, and be appropriate in our response. And I believe faith will deepen, the Eucharist will be more profound. So yes, let us worship in a spirit of truth and love, as the Gospel will remind us this Sunday. In church or in screen, in other ways that we know, let us keep the Sabbath holy and honour God. Until things stabilise, let us not think that we fulfil obligations by attending Mass. For now, let us fulfil this obligation with an informed conscience and a responsibility. So here are some parish updates. I've continued to make the church a conducive place for you to come. When you come individually for private prayers, I've kind of tried to keep our Lenten theme alive in the church. So even if you come to pray privately, that you would enter into a more conducive place of prayer. Um, we have started the waterproofing works on the Garden of Peace. Our lifts are temporarily not in operation as I want to readjust the mechanisms in the lift. St. Clair Hall is closed because we have started the aircon upgrading works. But here is another piece of news. I want you to feel very proud of the team that is working with me at St. Mary's. Proud of them because they have responded and they have adjusted as best as they can to this situation that we all find ourselves in. Many of them have cleared their leaves, have adjusted as best they can to their salaries, um, but we have also made changes. Um, we have decided that for now, the canticle will be closed. We are looking to see how we can use Gubbio and how Gubbio will respond in this situation. All this will tie in with the office restructuring that I spoke of. And I think it will be a blessing that we will be able to come together and re-look at the way we serve you. I also would like to thank you for contributing and giving to St. Mary's to keep us going. As much as many of you have come up and placed your donations in the envelopes, some of you have also gone online and contributed regularly online. I thank you very, very much. This is the fourth Sunday in which we have had no collection and therefore no collection for the poor and needy, no collection for maintenance, no collection for gifts in line with the Archbishop's needs. So I thank you very much for going online or for coming here and seeing to the needs of this parish. I'd like to speak about this digital ministry. I shared with you that we started um, just as a response to keep in touch with you. We didn't think it would last for a month 
and if we are going to go on to assist you at home or wherever you are and it's even reached to other parts of the world then I'd like to share with you that I do need your assistance. If you'd like to sponsor the setting up of this digital ministry and the setting up of a studio so that it will be easier for us to reach out to you, please get in touch with Cindy. There are many ways you can help. If you are a lector, if you are a person who just would like to give your skill, that we could put you in touch with the various processes that are needed. If God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, He will certainly care for us all. So let us then increase our faith, not be people with so little faith. Let us not be worried about what is happening, what we are to eat, what's going to happen. These things naturally dominate the thoughts, as the Lord said, of unbelievers. But our Heavenly Father knows all our needs. He invites us to seek the Kingdom of God first, above all else, to live in a righteous way. And He will then provide for all that we need. Peace every good. God bless you.